Hello YouTube and welcome back to Making Sense. Well, we've had a big week. We uh, submitted our application video to Keith Fenner's What's in Your Box Toolbox giveaway last week and uh, the response has been excellent. It's been our highest viewed video thus far and uh, also has boosted the subscriptions. We've got an announcement coming up about that. Good news. Thank you YouTube. You guys are always awesome. Uh, if you have any comments, any uh, any feedback, please down there. A few uh, few pieces here. Last week, uh, I had my final exam in the first lathe module in my machining training, and uh, we had a bit of extra time uh, after I was done making the process sheet. So I went into the uh, went into the shop, and I turned these knobs from 1020 steel. Uh, they're they're completely free form. I used my own uh, uh, my own custom high speed steel tools with them, and basically just kind of winged it. Uh, there was no formal planning process. I just made one and then did my best to replicate it, which came out pretty close. Uh, I find the original one is is a little nicer on the fingers. The second one is a bit, a bit sharper edges and stuff, but they uh, they look good together, and all told, I'm happy with it. Uh, the the knobs themselves are for a kitchen table cabinet workspace uh, uh, thing that a table that my uh, my partner made in her cabinet making course. Uh, it's a shaker style table, and it's gorgeous. And so we've got a couple of a uh, couple of custom knobs for it too. And next I have to make a drawer pull, so I'm probably going to be doing something on the mill with that. Um, yeah, fun stuff. Next week I'll take them into uh, into Helios, I'll drill and tap them 832, and then I'll be ready for mounting. I will be putting a clear coat uh, lacquer or varnish onto them to protect them from rust because it is just simply uh, mild steel. It will definitely rust otherwise. But uh, it's a, a nice little, uh, nice little keepsake there, and a, uh, a good little, uh, good little bit of, of practice too. Um, so last week had the final exam in the in the lathe, as I mentioned, that went really well. If I uh, get zero points for anything that went out of tolerance, I still have over ninety percent. Uh, everything went together quite well on it. My precision was generally very good. There were I think two dimensions that were out of uh, out of tolerance. Got to got to work on that, but hey, for uh, for the first module, it's not bad at all. Um, yeah, I've also got a big uh, YouTube channel announcement for making sense here, and we'll cut to that now. Well, busy times here on uh, making sense, and uh, we're progressing fast. We actually uh, have reached a significant milestone. Now, as you know, YouTube distributes the, their play button plaques. For 100,000 views, there's the silver play button, and for a million, there's the gold. Well, we have reached a prestigious point, and we have actually got our very own YouTube play button. Here it is, the YouTube balsa and cardboard play button for one dozen subscribers. Yes, sir. There you have it. It says, making sense. The ink is red. It's completely consistent with the YouTube. Subscribers. Twelve subscribers. That's oh my right. God! It's completely consistent with the YouTube identity, and the quality of the materials really attests to the difficulty and the the the, the magnitude of this task that we have reached here. This is the finest scrap balsa, and and a perfectly good back cover of a notebook which I found in my cursory search. Yes. There you have it. Big news for making sense. One dozen subs. Gap of approval.